Welcome to another installment of Grass-Fed Ginger's 5-Minute Happy Hour with your certified nutritionists and hosts, Adrian Klein and Renee Dubois, featuring wine, amusement, shenanigans, and possibly some nutrition. Hey, hey, welcome to another episode of 5-Minute Happy Hour with the Grass-Fed Ginger's. <laughs> hello, hello. So we are here to uh, do a couple of things. So the first thing is to drink wine. And the second thing is to play games and have fun. So what are we drinking? Oh, we are drinking always with the wine, Renee. I know, right? <laughs> we're having a rosé. So we're kind of at the end of summer, beginning of fall. Rosés are perfect for that. Um, che Fico rosé, I believe they're from Italy. This is, this is an Italian wine. Um, again, we'll leave a link in the description so that you also can purchase this wine if you have a desire to do so. But what this wine does is organic, it's clean crafted, and it's low in sugar. So it's keto friendly, paleo friendly, and it is darn delicious and incredibly affordable. Have you ever tried to buy like the organic wine? in the past and it's, it's like so expensive right mm -hmm. um that fit in the budget but this wine absolutely does yeah it's really nicely priced i love that it's organic and i can drink I too yeah so today we're gonna play fact or fiction i like fact or fiction da -na -na -na. okay you ready okay Fact or fiction, the human tongue is made up of 10 muscles. Oh, actually, I think that's fiction. It has to be more than 10. Actually, it is fiction, but it's only eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. As long as I don't have to back up my answer, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> and so we drink. <laughs> so we drink. Eight muscles. Mm -hmm. I just use all eight of them. To swallow that wine. Oh, that is good rosé. Mm -hmm. You know, some rosés are a little too rosé-y, you know. That some one's really too good. white. Yeah, this one's really good. You Factor like fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Factor fiction. Queen Elizabeth is a trained mechanic. Fault well, or fiction. It's actually a fact. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep, she can fix her own cars if needed. Well, that's impressive. She's kind of an impressive lady when you get to really know her stuff. Fact or fiction, the skin of kiwi is toxic. I mean, I want to say fiction, but I feel like you're pulling my leg. I'm going to say fiction. Fiction. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not toxic. <laughs> well, because we all, we, you know, some people eat that. So I just Ooh. figured. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, nobody likes a fuzzy thing. I don't. In their mouth. I, that's like eating a sock. Phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, fact or fiction. I love that I've worked in about two nutrition loosely based questions. So here's your first one, Renee. Okay. Nutritionist. Ketchup was sold in the 1830s as medicine. Fiction. Fact. What? Ha. How? Ha. The card doesn't <laughs> tell me how. It just is. I want to know more. <laughs> Fact or fiction? Ketchup was sold in the 1830s as medicine. It's on the internet, therefore it must be true. It must be true. It must be true. <laughs> New Zealand is the smallest country by land area. Okay, number one, you never have to ask me another geography question ever again <laughs> because I don't know stuff like that. We're lucky if I know how to get in my get out of my neighborhood. That's, and that's why right. I have GPS. That's why I have GPS. <laughs> I don't even know how I lived my life prior to like remember MapQuest. I probably can't say that out loud, but um, you know the directional quest um, online thing that would help you get places and you'd like print it out and you're like driving and you're like reading and you're driving and you're reading. Um, so I'm actually, what? MapQuest wasn't that long ago. 
I know that's what's weird about it because you think it's like fairly new and all of a sudden it's like they don't exist anymore because now we have other newfangled doohickeys in our life that are useful because this lady, she needs GPS. You want me to find you? You've got to give me exact directions. Uh, fact or fiction? Oh, wait, I didn't answer. <laughs> I see. I just glossed right over. Like, I don't do geography. I'm like, hold on a second. What's the name of the river in Ohio? They're like, I don't know. So, fact or fiction, New Zealand is the smallest country by land area. Fact. Fiction. It's actually Vatican City. Now you know some geography. I don't. It'll, it doesn't stay there. It's like slippery. <laughs> it's like so slippery. It's like, whoosh. It's gone. Yeah. yeah. I might have like a glimmer of something if we're like watching like a docu-series or something about Vatican City. I'll be like, I think I kind of know something about this, but I'm not quite <laughs> connecting. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're like, shh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fact or fiction? Oh, so here's my other nutrition-related question. Ulcers are caused by spicy food and stress. True. Fact. I always want to go true or false. It's <laughs> actually fiction. So this is new information because ulcers are caused by the H. pylori bacteria. I don't think I knew that. Yeah. And also iron tablets. The spicy food has... Um, I guess it can just make it worse when you have a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for sure. That's what I was thinking. Yes. Um, but if you have an ulcer, chances are you have the H. pylori bacteria and you need to get tested. My last one is the best one, so I can't wait to say it. <laughs> in 1984, Motorola came out with the first mobile phone, and it was equivalent to, it cost $4,000, but today it would have been $10,000. Uh, I didn't think Motorola were the first one to the dock i would have said nokia was um so i'm gonna say fiction it's true ah whose idea was it to play this game yours <laughs> <laughs> so you better drink <laughs> all right lay the last one on me that you have back to fiction this is the best one nicholas cage you Mm -hmm. I know who that is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nicholas Cage bought a pet octopus because he sincerely thought it would help with his acting. <laughs> I'm going to say true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I mean, mad respect for Nicholas Cage, right? But how? <laughs> I don't even understand. I don't, I don't know. There's not much more explanation comes with these. I things, know. Right? When you're looking it up, like it's literally just a fact or it's just a myth. It's not good enough. And I don't worry enough to think <laughs> I should do more research. I just <laughs> accept the fact that he had an octopus as a pet to help with his acting career. I, like, I can live with that for the rest of my life and not know anymore. Last one. Despite its huge eyes... The dragonfly really has poor sight. I don't know this one. Um, huge eyes, poor sight. I am going to say fiction. It actually is fiction. Oh, yay, I finally got one. Great. Yeah. They can see above, below, behind, all at the same time. And that is like how women's brains are. Right. <laughs> no, we only have two eyeballs. <laughs> two eyeballs, but yes. So, hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to uh, subscribe down below. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Down below with our little blinky arrow down there. <laughs> and that way you'll get notified when a new episode pops up. And be sure to check out our podcast, the Grass-Fed Gingers Podcast. We're on yeah. Stitcher and also iTunes. Mm -hmm. You can also join us on Facebook at the Grass Fed Gingers Podcast. Just kind of come on over and chime in on thoughts that you have about the podcast and all that good stuff. So until next time, my friends. Goodbye. Oh, and don't forget about the wine. Oh, and the wine. And the wine. Yep. So um, the There's rose down below for that too. Yes.
Perfect. Okay. I think we did everything that my nine-year-old daughter requires us to do for a YouTube video. I think we call it good. All right. Until next time.